Hello friends, welcome in for your weekend love reading. Um, bear with me, I have terrible allergies. I am in New York City, so that is why the background's a little bit different, but of course I'm still going to film for you. Um, and let's see what the weekend has in store for you. As always, if you're interested in a more personalized reading for me, be sure to check the links in the description box. My one-on-one -on -one schedule um, is discounted right now along with my pre-recorded readings. So check it out. Otherwise, let's dive in. The song I got on shuffle was Anywhere by Rita Ora. It's like anywhere away with you. Some of you guys, like I keep picking up on this in some of these collective readings. Somebody being invited on vacation, somebody wanting to go somewhere with you. Somebody might be reaching out and like wanting to do something. This person could live at a distance. I don't know. But I do feel this also feeling of like kind of believe in the impossible. Like something really unexpected might happen. And it's like, I don't know, circumstances would say that it's not possible for what's happening. Um, or like something you don't expect. I don't know. Let's dive into it and see what is happening for you this weekend in your love life. Your weekend love reading. What's happening? <sighs> we have trust, faith, and power in the universe. So... It doesn't matter where you are or what you're doing. What's meant to find you is going to find you, okay? That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting here. Um, guidance, you're divinely guided. Yeah, there's something about you following your inner system. And like, you know, this is the message here. We have manifestation, what your desire is on its way. Here's like a little manifestation tip, right? I think we get in like this mode, like when we're trying to manifest something or we're trying to call something in, we get in a little bit of like a control situation where we're like, I have to be right at this place at this time for this to all fall into place. Um, or like, I can't, I can't like turn away from my manifestation because then like it's not going to show up where it's actually the opposite. It's like the minute that I start just living my life and doing things for me and not focusing on the manifestation, that's where it shows up. So there's definitely something that I feel like you're being pushed to do this weekend where you're like, oh, but if I'm not in this place at this time this weekend, if I'm not available here, then what I want's not going to show up for me. But that's actually the opposite. It actually is going to show up for you. That's kind of like the anywhere thing that I'm picking up on, the, the believe in the impossible. We have a new bit beginning. Have a cur courage to open a new door. So there's definitely something happening, I feel, for you this weekend that it's like you're being pushed to go in one direction, and it might be the direction that you're like, but but it's like for you it's like you're being guided there and it's like it's all gonna fall into place just trust 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 um let go of the control so let's see what's happening for you in your love life this weekend step out of your comfort zone okay so i do feel like there's something you're going to be pushed to do that i don't think it's necessarily out of your comfort zone but it's definitely something that's going to like Take your mind off of whatever it is that you're hoping happens this weekend. You're very close to achieving your goal, but it's getting you closer to where you want to be. Let's go one more. What's happening for you this weekend? Meditate and contemplate. So it's like a seeming... I feel like this weekend is seemingly... Um, like some of you might be moving... Some of you might get an opportunity to move or go somewhere else. And you think that like by going somewhere else, you're going to be far away from your man, like what you want to manifest. Stop. Just stop. Um, because there's, it's like a seemingly like, like nothing out of this world happening this weekend. You might not even be focused on your love life, but that's like, Something's transpiring in the background for you this weekend. There might be like some background stuff going on. What's happening for you this weekend in your love life, please? 
Aquarius, I know. Long-term visions. This is uh, friends. You might be hanging out with friends. Chiron healing. So I definitely feel whatever you're doing this weekend, it's going to be healing. We have um, fifth house creativity. Fifth house is also the self-expression. And we have the sun here. So I feel like there may be something, um, this is like fun romance too. So there may be something here that you're healing and you're like using your voice, like expressing yourself in some kind of way or something is. There also might be like an opportunity for you to kind of be in the spotlight a little bit. Um, like you could be getting a lot of attention this weekend uh, or there's going to be something that happens. I don't know. Let's get some tarot and see what's happening for you this weekend. We have the Awakening card, the Judgment card in reverse, though. But the whole deck was upside down. So I'm going to kind of ignore that, but not ignore it. Um, I feel like there's something that you're holding back on or something's being held back. But then there's like this like feeling of something like a quick turnaround there's going to be a quick turnaround here that i feel like you don't expect off of something that's like i feel like look oh my god when i say there's going to be a quick turnaround that you don't expect and the death card comes out the transformation card there's definitely a quick turnaround that you don't expect and it's almost like somebody who's been holding back their feelings or like somebody who's been holding something in is like finally making this decision to like blurt it out what is this what's happening for you this weekend what's happening for you this weekend the three of swords okay why is that there why is the three of swords here please the five of cups okay one more and the star card yeah so there's definitely like some kind of and the ace of crystals i feel like there's some kind of healing here okay this is for my people who have been in feeling like feeling like disappointment feeling like loss or guilt or remorse maybe like crying over spilt milk something that's like been dead and gone a little bit um and you've been kind of holding this in. Either this is you or somebody else around you. Take it how it resonates. But there's an opportunity. There's an opportunity that's going to present itself to you. And what this opportunity is going to bring you is healing. And it could be as simple as like your friends invite you to a party. Okay. And it like distracts you from whatever this is going on that you've been like a little bit butthurt about or like sad about and it's going to encourage you to like finally walk away from this but I almost feel like there is this feeling of like but when I walk away from this when I actually let go of this like then I lose it but that's not the case actually you're shifting the energy to where it's like mm, what you want can come in because you're not focused on the lack of it anymore you know, okay, what is this opportunity that's showing up for you this weekend? What is this opportunity that's showing up for you this weekend? The Seven of Swords, interesting. What is this opportunity that's showing up for you this weekend? I, I'm telling you, this is going to come out of nowhere. The Nine of Swords. There's something about it, though, that brings you, like, a little bit of anxiety. What is this opportunity... I feel like it's going to be sprung on you. We have the Knight of Nine of Cups here. It does feel like a little bit of a wish fulfillment, but it does feel like it's kind of sprung on you. So there is this feeling of like, uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? It could be as simple as, it could be as simple as, if you recently just like had some kind of ending or had some kind of separation with somebody, that you've been kind of focused and you've been kind of dwelling in that like heartache energy. It could be as easy as like somebody else coming in and like coming in unexpectedly and making you some kind of offer and you being in like a little bit of hesitation because you're like, wait, but I still want this other person to come back. Um, I'm still wanting this other person. 
but I mean, this is a, like a, somebody that I would like to go out with, like kind of like that, you know? So I feel like there could be somebody coming in that you didn't expect. I don't think that this person would be like, ho-hum, like let's go to coffee date or let's go out for dinner. Like, I feel like there's another person here who is gonna come in like, fully which is where I'm like they could invite you on a vacation they could invite you it's something like a little bit more serious than just because if it were just dinner you'd be like sure fine let's do it but this is something that could lead to something more and I feel like you're like am I ready for this okay so what is this offer coming in why is the seven of swords here seven of swords is here because this person's Whoever this person is, and we're going to pull some cards for that, whoever this person is, they've been planning this for a little while. They've been working up the courage to come in here and make this offer. And it's going to be like, like I said, the Knight of Pentacles. It's like a real deal offer. And then the Temperance card here, which is sort of like, obviously, healing patience. This person has been like, patiently waiting for the right moment to make this offer they've been like strategizing okay who is this person coming towards you who is this person coming towards you the page of swords look they've been watching they've been watching and waiting for the right moment who is this person coming towards you who's this person coming towards you the six of swords i feel like this person watches you online um this person watches you online. Like I said, this person could be coming in from a far away place. Um, they might be long distance. They might You might connect with this person online. Um, this person is definitely leaving something behind here, though. They're, like, leaving something behind. And then the Two of Cups. I feel like this person's been preparing for relationship with you. I do think that you have feelings for this person. I do think that you like the feelings are mutual for this person. But like I said, it almost feels like there's some kind of mm, lingering situation that you're kind of going to be questioning. Am I fully ready to let go of this so that I because like you're going to question like, do I want to be full in this? Do I still want to like entertain the possibility of this other person coming back into my life? I don't know. I don't know. How, what actions is this person going to be taking towards you here? What actions is this person going to be taking towards you? This weekend, this weekend in love. Mm, the magician. It's funny because I feel like when they take action towards you, it's going to seem like off the cuff, but it's not. Like they've been planning this. This keeps coming up in a lot of my collective readings. There's somebody here who's been like, planning and plotting they've been manifesting they've been manifesting they've been going inwards um they've been going inwards and then the four of crystals some of you this is going to be somebody who's like i bought a home where you live and i'm moving there something like that with the hermit here and the four of crystals like this person's been at home this person's been sitting at home they've been manifesting Manifesting. They've been manifesting. What are they manifesting here? What are they manifesting? It's funny, like you might be manifesting somebody, but somebody's manifesting you. What has this person been manifesting, please? What has this person been manifesting? The world card. Um, some kind of like ending. Because like I said, when they come towards you, they're going to have wrapped something up moved on from something the empress okay interesting like some kind of creative birth here um they're wrapping up some kind of cycle here and they're like preparing for a new beginning the have courage and open a new door this person that's what this person is doing what are they kind of quote unquote giving birth to here the sun card oh my gosh Okay. And the Page of Cups. This person's going to express themselves to you. They've been waiting for the right time so that they, and, and the courage to say what they want to say. Say what you need to say. What is, what is it this, 
this person going to say to you? What is this person going to be saying to you? The two of pentacles. Yeah, they're going to give you like a, an option. What is this person going to say to you? They're going to throw something out there like, and that's where it's like, yeah, the ace of swords um, in reverse. Okay, so, okay, one more. The Wheel of Fortune. This person is going to come in, not with their full truth. They're building up the courage for that, though. But they're also, I feel like they're going to toss you something. Like, they're going to toss you something to get your reaction and see how to move forward. So it's not like they're coming in with their full plan. This person's going to throw something out there. It's like, oh, what would you think if we like, if I came here or like, how do you feel about this? And it feels like it's kind of what I'm saying. It feels like it's that energy of, hey, I was just randomly thinking, what would you think if I like came down to see you or if I like, if we met up here, um, should we do something like that? But in their mind, they've been thinking about it for a really, really, really long time. So they're, they're kind of tossing it to you to make it seem like give you an option. But in their mind, they're like, no, I've been manifesting this. Okay, before I move into the extended, in the extended, I'm going to pull archetype cards and we'll see if we can't get like a more... Um, clearer picture on what's happening here with the archetype cards, more message cards, the romance angels, um, all the things. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check it out. $10 monthly subscription for my um, extendeds, or you can single purchase them at $7. But monthly subscription, $10, you get access to all extendeds. So let's see, what are the heart to heart messages here? You make my heart happy. What is going to be communicated to you this weekend? You have my whole heart. Okay, so this person is, their heart is in this. I miss you. So this could be somebody that you, like I said, is at a distance. You haven't seen them in a bit. I'm attracted to you in ways that I cannot explain. And I'm planning my move. I'm telling you. This person is plotting. This person is plotting. This person is like dying to see you. I'm planning my move. I feel like that's all they've been thinking about. And gosh, they're going to try and play it casually. They're going to try and play it casually. I feel like they've seen that you're in another situation or that you're, they're kind of waiting on the green light from you. Like, are they over that situation? Are they alone? all these things. Um, so that is what I'm seeing in the extended. We're going to dive in a little bit deeper if we can figure out more about this person, more about what actions they're going to take. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box and I will see you guys there. Bye.